Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And we are back here live on the Gatorade broadcast booth here on the Mackey Motors postgame show here on Kick 106.7. And joining me right now is Miss Cameron Shabel. Uh, Cameron, you know, this was a back-and-forth game all night long. Really kind of tested you guys here tonight. Uh, what are kind of your first thoughts um, reflecting on this game? Um, I mean, we came out really, like, strong and energized because we were like, we need to beat Ballard. Um, and we kind of just kept that mentality the whole game where we had some ups and downs, but we really pushed through it as a team. Set number one and two went really well for you guys. Talk to me, what was kind of clicking for you guys early on? Um, we really worked on kind of spreading out our offense and keeping our hitters off the net. So Caitlin did a great job with that tonight. And we kind of moved the offense around, and we just worked really well together. You know, I think the one wild card that Ballard had here tonight was uh, Brooklyn Baumgartner. They kind of put her in the back at times, brought her forward. So what were some of the things you guys were trying to do to kind of counter the tallness that she had up front? Well, we knew that she was bi she was going to be a big block, so we kind of had to work around her every once in a while and knew that we couldn't just give it to her because she was going to slam it down on us. So we kind of worked on just moving the ball around her and targeting her when she was in the back row. You know, sets three and four obviously did guy go your guys' way. It was still a very close match in those two. Um, what were some of the things you were seeing from your end that was just kind of not there in those two sets? Um, I feel like in the third set, we really, like, stopped talking to each other as much, which we tend to do sometimes, but we've been working on it in practice, and we've been getting really good at fixing that during the games, and so that's one thing that helped us pull through. Was it just a, a, a fact that you guys were getting down, and, you know, they would get a point, and it was just so close? Was that kind of the, the thing that led you guys to, like, not communicating as much? Yeah, so um, when we made an error, we kind of got down on ourselves, and we just had to talk to each other and be like, hey, we got this. We can come out of this, and so that's what helped us. Um, you know, the one thing that Jeff Honnold was kind of talking about, he's kind of the master when it comes to this stuff. The one thing that I think was just not there sometimes was just some of those service teams, and they had some very good servers, especially kind of the surprise. Peyton um, Askelson, that freshman for them, was kind of a surprise for them. So on their serves, what were you kind of seeing more from them? Um, when they were serving to us, they tended to flow, and that's just what our back row players were telling us. And so we just told them that they've got this and that we had confidence that they were going to get the pass up. And then obviously in set five, you guys bring it back 15 to 10. What was going well in set five? Um, we communicated very well, and on every point, even if it was a little point, we were excited and we celebrated every play. And that's the thing I think you got to do. You know, at times where you're low and it's not going your guys' way, you got to pump you guys up somehow. And I, I saw the bench, especially when those big plays were going, they were hyping you guys up. Yeah, that helps us a lot. So, of course, coming up, you guys got that Nevada tournament coming up this weekend, another busy weekend for you guys. Um, I'm sure you probably haven't seen film on that, but what are some of those teams you're looking forward to playing there? Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't really <laughs> seen what teams. We're just excited to get some playing time and playing together and uh, – working things out and of course middle of the season you guys um, are getting to that point where playoffs are starting to get creep up and we're getting to postseason play so what are some of the things that you you think that your team just needs to work on a little bit more in practice I think that we just like in practice we just need to keep the intensity high like during every play even if it's a slow drill we just need to push through it and be focused every time but still include fun into that absolutely well Cameron Chabel thank you so much for joining thank us you. on the post game show we appreciate it Yep. Once again, that was Cameron Shable of the Carroll Tigers joining us here on the Mackey Motors postgame show. We're going to switch around the headphones, and joining me now is Alyssa Brandt. Alyssa, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, this was a game back and forth. I was tired just watching you guys play this game tonight. Uh, but you pull out the win in five sets. Uh, talk to me. Is that kind of what you guys expected, a good match against Ballard? What was the thought coming into tonight? Uh, yeah, we definitely know that our conference teams are definitely like pretty close to the same level as us, so we just had to come out strong, and I think we did that. You know, some of the things that were going well in, your, in the first and second set, you guys were talking well, you guys were competing very well in set one, and for yourself, I was seeing a lot of those really good front row plays, so what was kind of the thought process um, on your plan of attack in the front row? Yeah, so tonight I really, like, focused on trying to see the floor and what spots were open and not necessarily hitting it very hard, but, like, hitting open spots, and I think I did a pretty good job of that in finding the open areas. I was going to say, you and Ludwig both sort of liked that, like, kind of push thing cross court. Kind of makes it a little bit confusing because they're looking for that strong attack, especially up in this class in, in Iowa, but you guys just had that down pack at, at points. 
yeah, it definitely helped to like switch up in between. Like sometimes you push, sometimes you tip, and sometimes you swing really hard. So it's different to keep them on their toes. Cameron mentioned that you guys' communication was at times maybe not there just because you were down. A couple of points were going there. Um, you know, what were some of those things that you were telling your girls when you were, whether you're down or whether it was just so close? What were some of those things you were trying to tell them? Um, pretty much just to keep their head up. Like, yeah, errors happen. It's just a part of the game. But as long as we keep our head up and come back from them, it's going to be a lot better. Sets three and four were kind of, uh, or excuse me, sets, yeah, sets three and four were kind of a grind for you guys in that one. You, uh, you got down 25 or 25, 22 in both sets. But um, in, in all reality, it was a lot closer than what, you know, the final score says. So what are some of those little things that you guys just have to improve upon that you know that you'll work on coming up here soon? Uh, definitely communication in those third and fourth sets. We kind of like slow down our communication. And then we also like it seemed like we were getting a little bit tired. So as long as we like keep the intensity up and the energy up, I think it'll go a lot better. When it came to serves, I think that was the biggest thing here tonight was the serving game for both teams. That kind of controlled the rest of the contest. So when it came to your guys' serves, what are you guys looking to do and place it? Uh, we were definitely just trying to get them over and then also hitting like specific girls depending on the rotation that we thought were weaker and then just trying to move them around in the back row to keep them on their toes. And I know at times, especially that fifth set, you guys looked very good on, on in that fifth set because I think for a lot of the times they were just sending it long and away. You were really trying to get in their heads. <laughs> um, so what, what was just clicking in set five? Uh, our communication picked back up and then so did our intensity level. Like the more energy you have, we tend to play a lot better. And that definitely helped us out. Was there anything different in set five that you saw from Ballard in the front row um, that maybe you didn't see in sets three and four? Uh, you could tell that they were starting to get tired, too, so they started, like, tipping and pushing a lot more, so that gave us a better chance to, like, get our feet there, make better passes to set up our offense. And definitely those long passes were definitely nice <laughs> to see, too, because it's like, um, especially I think one of them, there was a time where someone was going out for it and it was already going out, so some of those lucky breaks, too. Um, coming up, you got that tournament this weekend. What are some of those things you're looking to just continue to, to, to get down packed before playoffs start here soon? Uh, definitely to keep working on spreading our offense. That seems, or that seems to help us out a lot better. Like the blocks not setting up on a specific girl, and it also gives like each other kind of a break and just uh, more excitement. Absolutely, Alyssa. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Mackie Motors Post Game Show. Thank you. Absolutely, Alyssa Brandt of the Carroll Tigers once again joining us here tonight. Switch over the microphones once again for our last interview for tonight. We have head coach Michaela Clink joining us here tonight. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Man, what a contest between you and Ballard. Like your girl said, you know, it's always expected with this Raccoon River Conference. Tough, tough teams all around. Even if Ballard is only, uh, not, uh, excuse me, they are a 4-8 uh, and eight team here this season. But um, are you surprised at all by this result tonight? Um, no, I'm not. We um, were looking at their schedule. They played a lot of good teams. Um, we know that all the, um, all the teams in the Raccoon River Valley are they're just going to go head to head every night. Um, Bondurant, a, ra a ranked team, they played them, um, and they went five sets with them. So we knew anything was possible. Talk to me about the game plan going into tonight, because I know that they have a lot of strong, uh, strong players that came into tonight. Bob Gardner was one of those players, played extremely well, um, as did some of their freshmen like Peyton um, Askelson or Askelson. So what did you know you had to have coming into tonight on your offensive side for the attack? Um, we knew that we had to have a, a strong block against their outside hitter, number 18. Um, we knew that she was a, their go-to girl, and we also knew that um, number 17 was going to be a big block. So we really worked on um, coverage and then speeding up our offense so we can keep them on their toes. Cameron had talked about just a little bit about Baumgartner being moved from that back row to the front row and just was all over the place. Did that kind of throw a, a little bit of a wrench into your, your scheming there? No, not really. Um, our focus was just keeping our intensity up. I think that was the biggest difference between that first and second and then third and fourth set. Um, so we just really worked to get that back in the fifth set. Cameron and Alyssa mentioned that communication was kind of the big thing that needs to be worked on um, coming into some of these contests. So uh, what are some of those things that you're looking to tell your girls here in the next couple of days coming into that tournament? Um, what do they need to communicate? Um, when they're off, they need to be com communicating everything, whether the serve um, that they're receiving is short, if it's deep, um, and our hitters need to be communicating to our setter um, because they can set up a play at the beginning of um, the play, but things happen during the set, so they need to be loud and talk to our setters. 
you know, here in this contest tonight, Ballard did um, a, a great job at serving. We talked about um, the float servers kind of there for that team tonight. Um, but server saving wise, talk to me. What did you see um, from your team tonight on server save? We started it off really well, and then we, when we get frustrated, we started jumping at the ball. Um, so they had to focus on moving their feet, getting their bodies to the ball, um, and then handling that tough jump float. We were talking right before we got to the interviews that, you know, kind of the biggest moments for you guys was when Chloe Ludwig had that long stretch serving and did a really good job, really turned the tides there. Um, so talk to me about the performance tonight of, of Chloe and how it kind of turned uh, the game for you guys. Yeah, that just um, looks on her um, experience as a senior mm -hmm. and as a senior leader. Um, it's tough to go on those long stretches because you're playing and then you have to go back and then be focused enough to serve. Um, and she not only got the ball over, but she was giving them aggressive serves. Talk to me about their defense, because a lot of the times uh, it looked like that they had your number when it come to blocking. Um, they knew that you were going at that cross-court position, and at times they were just right there. So what were some of those things you had to adjust to fix to go up against that defense that was kind of right there to block? Yeah, switching up our offense, um, not just hitting that cross-court, trying to hit line, um, switching up what we were running, too. Um, this week we really focused on if, like, middle hitter, the first time the ball goes over if you run a one you're running something different so keeps um the defense on their toes you know we're coming up to playoffs very very soon it's hard to believe coming up um right about the end of october and whatnot uh what are i i, I should say do you believe that your team here at this moment um could be a contender i mean i, I know that offense there are things to fix and there's always going to be things to fix um but wh what is it going to take to elevate this team and be a real contender here in the real uh, in the iraq and river yeah it seems like sometimes um us coaches might believe in them a little more than um <laughs> they believe in themselves especially when things are going tough right um but just those little things that we keep um talking about in practice um if they believe in then they execute i think this team could go far great thing is that you guys are off until the weekend got it plenty of time to get some of that practice in and get some of those little things fixed up um so what's kind of the tournament looking like for you guys um yes that's a tough one um it's a big tournament there's going to be lots of um competition down there um so we're going to use it to our advantage get that experience for mm -hmm. the off season and then keep um doing what we're working for Kind of a good measuring stick this weekend mm -hmm. is what it's going to be. Yep. Absolutely. Well, Coach, you know, congratulations on the win tonight. I'm excited to see how this team does going forward, and we wish you good luck here this weekend. All right. Thank you.